For some reason, people seem to think that India is a vegetarian country. And while we have many delicious vegetarian dishes, 70% of Indians actually eat meat. Despite that, 80% of the population doesn't meet their daily protein requirements. Welcome to my new series called Will It Meat, where I take some of India's most famous and favorite vegetarian dishes and amp up those protein macros by adding meat. Horns up and welcome to Headbangers Kitchen folks. For those of you who are not familiar with Indian food, Upma is a popular Indian vegetarian breakfast dish that is made with semolina. It's like a porridge that's often cooked with vegetables and nuts. In fact, it's made differently in every part of the country. But today we're going to be asking the question, will it meet? We're going to be amping up the regular Upma with some delicious crispy fried bacon and some ground beef. Anyway, enough jibber jabber, let's get cooking. The first thing I'm going to do is get a pan on the stove and dry roast one cup of semolina or as it is known as in India, rava or suji. Now you just want to roast it till it gets nice and golden brown in color. We don't want to turn it to a very dark brown so keep your eye on the pan. Once the semolina is golden brown and perfectly roasty and toasty, we take it off the heat. Into a kadai which is sort of a slightly deep pan and mine is non-stick by the way, I add some chopped streaky bacon and fry that up. Now the reason I use streaky bacon is because it has a good amount of fat and that is going to render out while cooking the bacon and then instead of oil or ghee which is what is normally used to cook opma, we use the bacon fat. So be patient that fat will render out and the bacon will deep fry in its own fat and become crispy. Once that bacon is nice and golden brown and crispy, remove it from the pan with a slotted spoon. To that hot bacon fat in the pan, we add a teaspoon of mustard seeds and some urad dal and chana dal. Black gram split and split chickpea lentils being the English names respectively. Chopped ginger, chopped chilies which have been de-seeded because I can't handle spice, cashews and curry leaves go in next. We saute those before adding in some chopped red onion and give it all a good mix. Once the onions are starting to turn translucent, I add in my beef and give it another good mix before seasoning it with salt. And now we just want to cook that beef and break up all the big chunks. You want to saute the beef and bring out as much flavor as possible. Once the beef is nicely sauteed, we're going to add in 3 cups of water, season that with salt. And once it comes to a gentle simmer, we're going to add in our roasted semolina and give it all a good mix. Cover it now and cook for 3 to 4 minutes. After 4 minutes, I open it up and that upma is pretty much cooked and ready. It looks good. I break it up a bit. Now if you prefer your upma to be creamier, you can add more water to loosen it up a bit. But I think this is perfect for me. So I just let it cook for a minute or two before turning off the heat. And now it's time to finish this upma. So a generous squeeze of lime over the top, a handful of coriander and that crispy fried bacon. And folks, our beef and bacon upma is 99% done and ready. But of course you gotta give it that final good mix and then your upma is 100% ready to eat so let's plate up. If you wanna be fancy you can use the upside down bowl technique that I'm using and then garnish with more crispy bacon and coriander. And this is a picture perfect upma. In fact, you can't even tell that it has beef and bacon in it. I mean, look at it. Anyway, nothing left for me to do but taste it. And I'm just excited that I put beef and bacon in upma. Anyway, time for the official taste test and to answer the question, will it meet? Hands up, don't come to. <laughs> you know he's going to put all this in the blue <laughs> Hi, uh, my name is Rishabh. Uh, I'm a film student and I love food. I genuinely do. <laughs> Hi, I'm Marissa. Do you eat a lot of Indian food? Oh yeah, yeah. That's that's like top one. Like I'm I'm like I'm a Bengali and a Malayali, so you know like uh, it's, it's my jam. It's Indian Indian cuisine is my jam. No, not very much. How do you feel about upma? My mom loves it again, but I hate it. I, I genuinely like I, I'll be very honest with you. Like it's like it's boring, it's tasteless, it's it's just I mean until you put save and stuff on it, like lemon and stuff, it's great. But I, I I'm not a big fan of Upmama and I, I can't. <laughs> I don't like it at all. <laughs> okay. Have you ever eaten Upma? Uh 
maybe once or twice if I were because I was forced to. Okay, and what if I told you I'm about to feed you upma but with beef and bacon? I don't know. I think because the bacon and the meat is in it, it should be like I should be good with it. Okay, bro. Okay. See, that's what I'm talking about. If you put bacon and beef on it, I'm like, okay, bring it on, man. Bring it on. This is not bad. It's not like upmai breakfast type. It's like more like a meal. But I think upma is usually not spicy. It's just like this. Like, again, tasteless. <laughs> but yeah, I love it. Because I mean, you put bacon and beef on anything and it's like... It's like an Indian version of a fried rice. <laughs> fried semolina. Yeah, but it's like, it's more like a meal than a breakfast thing. Great, man. It's like, if this is my breakfast, I think I can have it pretty like, yeah, regularly. Okay, and how does this compare to regular upma? From the little that I remember, this is more edible than the other upma which I wouldn't eat at all. Oh, this is gourmet, dude. This is very gourmet, if I may say so. Um, yeah, it's an add-on, man, compared to someone like I love uh, uh, bacon and beef. So, I mean, if you put it in upma, which I hate, I love it. <laughs> I think I should introduce this to my mom. I should actually. She hates bacon though. <laughs> you can skip the bacon. I can, I can skip the bacon. And how would you rate this on a scale of 1 to 10? Definitely 7. Definitely 7. And what is Upma, Upma rate on your scale? Just so we have a comparison. 3. <laughs> no, no. Okay, this because like this as a whole Upma is 7. But Upma in generally for me is 3. Actually, I would just eat it, so it definitely has a very high rating. Give us a number, no? What is regular upma for you? Don't touch it. A number? Give us a number for zero. regular Because I wouldn't touch it. Okay, so regular upma is zero. Yeah. And this is? I give it a 10 because I would definitely eat it. Alright guys, it's time for me to taste the beef and bacon upma. And full disclosure, I am also not really an upma fan. I don't eat it at all. I've probably had it a handful of times in my life. Though I will say there is something very simplistic, comforting about it. It's the kind of breakfast you might eat when you're not feeling very well. It's like one of those sick dishes, you know, when you want something a little more bland in the true sense of the word bland <laughs> and comforting. Upma kind of, you know, does the job. But let's see how this beef and bacon upma has turned out let's dig in Ooh, hot hot hmm. oh this is perfect it's still upma don't get me wrong this is not magically transformed upma into something completely different but there is stuff going on when you eat the curry leaf, when you get that cashew, that sort of springiness of the ground beef and the crunch of that bacon, all of it works really well together. Honestly, would I make this again and eat it? Probably not because it's still upma. But am I going to eat it now? Yes. Am I going to finish all the leftovers in my kitchen? Yes. So I would rate this a solid 7.5 out of 10. And that's my honest review. Anyway, I hope you guys are going to try making this upma. Let me know in the comments, do you like upma or what's the deal? Why does everyone not like upma? But yet it is so popular. So let me know in the comments below if you're an upma fan and if you're going to try this beef and bacon version. Anyway, I'll see you on the next episode. Until then, cheers and keep cooking. A big thank you to all my supporters on Patreon and here on the YouTube channel memberships. You are all awesome. And please let me know in the comments as well which dish should I meet, meatify? Is that the correct word? Which dish should I tackle next? Will it meet? Which dish will that be? You let me know in the comments below.